doing a Father's Day uh, barbecue slash smoke. We're gonna do some uh, barbecued ribs. My husband uh, requested those, so he it's uh, a nice treat for dinner. And so if I'm smoking these ribs. I did a rub on them just like I did that uh, slow pulled pork that I did. So anyways, I hope this inspires you to come along with me and see how quick and easy this is. Actually, it's quick to put together and you cook it long and slow with the smoke and it just comes out fabulous. So we want those ribs to not a pull apart tender, but pull off the bone easily. So I'll show you how that comes out. And if this inspires you to stay along, go ahead and go down in the show more box below. Uh, I've got my Facebook page over there. We've got over 2,400 people over there talking about different stuff, sharing videos and pictures and recipes. I also, right next to that is my uh, Wild Tree website where you can go shop uh, for all organic, um, all natural food products and uh, or look into the possibility of becoming a rep. If you'd like to do that, you can contact me because uh, it's really ramping up. We're doing farmer's market with it and it's been really, really fun. So I hope that uh, this brings you along. Let's go make some beautiful smoked pork ribs. Well guys, I'm glad you stayed for this because this is gonna be super easy and it's so delicious. And this was by request for Father's Day. So even though it's a day the day after Father's Day, you'll still get an idea for a barbecue. And I did a, a rub here. I like the wet rubs um, because they adhere to the meat so much better. And what's in here is some grapeseed oil. And I've got the hickory smoke flavor grapeseed oil on here, even though I'm going to smoke this. It, it just adds to the another layer of flavor. And uh, paprika some garlic galore, I've uh, got um, salt and pepper. Not much salt though. I really don't need a lot of salt to get the flavor out of this meat. Although you want a little bit so it can render some of that fat. And so I'm just gonna rub this on both sides and let this uh, sit in, I'll wrap it all up tight and it will sit tight um, for at least two hours. You know, if you don't have time, make, you know, do it in less time. But I'm going to let this sit for at least two hours and then we'll get it on the smoker. All right, guys, I'll see you out at the smoker and uh, we'll get to putting this meat on the grill. And I cut this rack of ribs, this full rack, into two pieces so it's manageable for me to turn if okay, I want so to. Okay, so I'm putting together a little um, mop barbecue sauce for those ribs. I've been um, actually drenching it in pineapple juice the last few hours. And now I want to get together, um, I've got a honey mustard barbecue sauce or, and it's really good, but I want to add a little Hawaiian punch to it or flair, I guess you'd say. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of this pineapple juice, which has already been, you know, going on. And then we're going to baste those ribs with a little bit of this. And this is just a really nice, sweet um, way. I don't want a thick sauce on these ribs. I just want them to be kind of just like that. It's thicker than juice, but it's now I can let it kind of caramelize on the ribs themselves. So we're going to take that out there and I'll show you the halfway point, maybe a little over halfway of what we're going to do and how these ribs are looking because they look delicious. Okay, so run. we're about three-fourths of the way done with this cook and slow smoked ribs. They absolutely smell amazing. So now I'm going to start mopping it with the sauce that we made, which this sauce, I actually added some red Thai curry paste, about a half a tablespoon to this because when I tasted it, it wasn't quite what I wanted. And I want a little bit of a spice flavor because we're just kind of sending these a little on the Asian side, but not totally. So just get it mopped down and we're gonna mop these every 15 minutes until we're ready to serve. Keep them nice and moist. Ugh. You can see how that's already falling apart on me. We want these tender, but not so fall apart that you can't pick them up. I don't think we're there yet, so I'm, I'm hoping. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. Oh, that sauce. 
gloss on there. And we're gonna mop this side as well. And then we'll be back in 15 minutes to do the same thing until we're ready to serve dinner. That's really all there is to this. Ah, it just looks fabulous. My husband's a lucky man. let a little bit of that sit on top. So let me take you over for a close up. Too close. And doesn't that look delicious? Oh, it'd be amazing. All right, I'll be All right back. guys. So this is the end result of these ribs and they actually look delicious. I totally want to bring you for this end result and let you see how nice these guys come apart with that very little effort, you're gonna get this beautiful rib. Look at that, gorgeous. Let's cut into this one. And they still have enough bite to them that they're not, you know, they're, uh, I mean, they're not falling apart as I pick them up, but you get that nice smoke ring in there and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Whew. I'm, uh, kind of excited about this. I'm gonna need a napkin or two, I think. All right guys, so I'm gonna bring you back for the end result and I've got my plate set up. I've got a salad and two of these ribs. I'm excited. I was gonna show you this outside but the lighting was pretty bad so I've got Wild Trees Asian uh, Ginger Plum Dressing which is my new favorite. It's absolutely fabulous. And then uh, my ribs, which have a little Asian flair to them as well. So I'm not going to pick these up right now. I will off camera, but right now I'm just going to show you how easy this comes off the bone. And there you go. And a bite. Let's see if you can see that. Look how beautiful those are. Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's really, really good. They're really moist and tender. Ooh. And they have just a little bit of spice background, but you can definitely pick up the pineapple mm. and a little bit of the Thai seasoning. It's absolutely fabulous. I hope you try this. I hope it inspires you to come back next time. I really hope it inspires you to try some ribs because these are going to be fabulous for dinner. Everybody's waiting, so... I'm going to get on the road and uh, go down give me a thumbs up if you like this. And most of all, I hope I see you next time. I hope everybody had a fabulous Father's Day. All right, guys. God bless.